Matt, and today we're going to be hanging out at the arcade, playing some games and just having a good time. And to be more specific, I'll be doing that virtually, if you couldn't already tell. Because I will be playing a little game called The Coin Game, which is a game that is currently in early access on Steam. Uh, that is a sort of open world game where you run around the world and visit various arcades and other establishments. And uh, you can either just play with the arcade machines with no limits, or you can play it like a survival game where you have to get all, all the money and tickets you need to survive and things like that. But we're just going to be hanging out with the free play mode called birthday mode and playing some arcade games and running around and seeing what kind of attractions we got in this world. So I hope you'll enjoy it and you, I, I hope you'll find it relaxing. Here we go. Let's go into Larry's VIP Party Center, where it is my birthday. Here we go. Ah, wow. Thank you very much, everyone. As you can see, these robots are celebrating my birthday. I'm not sure what the robots are really supposed to be, but that's what they are. They're robots, I assume, and not people in weird uh, egg-shaped costumes. But yeah, this is the entry room, and uh, I've only played a few minutes of this so far just to get the hang of it, but I did want to explore it mostly for the first time in this video. As you can see, we have an animatronic band of sorts, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese. Got a Rasta banana, a teddy bear, a shark, and a foam hand. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for arcade games. And this arcade is maybe a little small compared to the other one I found earlier, but it's the starting arcade. And Arcade games are arcade games. They're still fun either way. So let's start by playing some games. I got uh, 200 bucks on me, so that should last a while. And because this is birthday mode, I believe I can just get more money whenever I need it. So let's play Claw Madness Ball Edition. See if we can get some of these balls. All right. Let's see. Because this is on a flat screen, you can't really get a sense of depth perception, unfortunately, but it's still fun to try. Uh-oh, what's this? Was that a hundred tickets? Wow, I think it might have been. I still have some time left though, so before I check on that, let's get some more. Or try, anyway. Come on, don't fall out. Nice. And now, how about this purple one over here? Can I get the one at the edge? Probably not. Yeah, it's going to go too far to the left. Well, they can't all be winners, can they? And I think we're out of time. Yep. So let's see what we got here. We got... 100 tickets, and another 100 tickets. That's already 200 tickets. And of course, we have a prize counting over here. If we want to redeem the tickets for some prizes, but I don't think I have quite enough yet. How about we play Stacker Up? And see what I can get. I got some minor prizes, like tickets, or major prizes, like headphones. I've always been bad at this one in real life, but let's see if I can do it. Uh, already off to a bad start. I swear I was better at this off stream. Come on. 
Nope. Well, I'm not interested in headphones anyway. So, let's see what else we got. We got Dizzy Bird, the original Wacom game. So, let's put the card in here. And what I have to do is find the green light, which is right there. And I have to press and hold and release to try and make it stop there. So, uh, I think that was a little weak. Yeah, way too weak, but I still got 10 tickets from it. Let's try it one more time. So the green light's over here. This one I don't need too much power on, I don't think. Ah, perfect. 500 tickets and a bonus shot. Feels good. Let's see. Nah, not quite. Well, let's get those 500 tickets. Or 520, really. So I've got quite a few tickets now, but I'm just holding on to them. If I want to stop holding on to them, I can go over to the Ticket Redemption Center and deposit the, the tickets. Alright, 720 tickets. While I'm over here, let's take a look at the prizes we can get. Alright, 500 tickets for a glow stick. A stuffed coin for 700. Paddle ball, basketball, fuzzy dice, foam hand. Ooh, a stuffed donut. Stuffed sharky, a frosted banana. I can't afford any of this. I'm going to hold on to the tickets for now. Alright, what else we got here? We got... Speed drop. How does this work? Win the jackpot. Catch all 50 balls before time runs out. Let's give it a try. Press button to drop balls in the buckets. They drop from there, it looks like. And let's drop the balls. I gotta be quicker about it. I already did not get the jackpot, but let's see how well we can do. Gotta go faster. Come on. Yeah, 38 balls, 30 tickets. Not awful, but not very good either. And now, what else? Let's try some ski ball. Let's power it up and let it go. Uh, only 10. This one is harder than it looks. Full power. No, that was too much. And how about this? Nope. I should probably be going for the easier ones. Because I'm not good enough to get the bigger ones yet. Almost. And... Nope. Two left. Almost. Yeah, nothing too good this time. But I still managed to get... 150 tickets. Not bad. So let's see here. How about we try Don't Go? This is one of those games where you drop coins in there and try and push the items off the edge here. And I guess you can get a, a prize for collecting all five Don't Go cards. But I don't think I'm going to try that hard on that right now. Let's just load one dollar on there. Alright, that gives me 12 credits. So let's start dropping them. Hmm. 
I don't think I can get that yellow one, but it might be worth a try. Worst case scenario, I get nothing. Middle case scenario, I get a few tickets from one of these coins falling. And best case scenario, I get the yellow card. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, a couple of coins there. Yeah, that's it. That was two counted or uncounted tickets. Only two. So what is this? Treasure in the sand. I do not know how this one works. Let's find out. Use joystick to move arm and knock off coins. Don't touch the shovel handle. Alright. Oh, that is satisfying. That's very satisfying. Good for an ASMR video, if you ask me. Come on. Come on. Off you go. Four seconds left. Alright. Looks like 30 tickets. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's do one or two more in here and then go explore some other places. Let's try Hockey Hut. This one I have to click to move that paddle and try and knock pucks into the hole. Nope. I got a total of four chances, I believe. Also, nope. And there we go, 20 tickets. Almost. But there's a total of 20 tickets. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go count these tickets and then go do some exploring. Two hundred to thirty-two more. I've got a total of nine hundred fifty-two. And while I'm at it, I might as well buy some devoted do. Clearly a uh, competitor to Mountain Dew. Sip, sip, sip. Delicious and caffeinated. Anyway, let's get out of here. Excuse me, robot. So, this open world has a few things you can go and explore, but it is, uh, uh, this game, like I mentioned, is in early access, so some of it is still under construction and not fully implemented. I'm not sure if we can go into any of the motel rooms here, but there is a motel here. I wonder if this will come into play at some point in the future, or if it's part of a game mechanic I'm not familiar with yet. Like I said, I've only played a few minutes of this before making this video. It looks like there's a traveling carnival in town over there. But uh, what I can do is pull up my smartwatch here, and I can actually, in birthday mode, just click the fast travel to places. So I believe we started at Larry's. How about we go to a UFO? So now I'm in a limo with some robots. My birthday limo. And we have arrived at... Well, we'll see the name of this place in a moment. We've arrived at UFO Raceway and Fun Center. I guess that means they probably have go-karts too. Win official gear here for Popcorn Pete and friends. Look at that guy. Popcorn Pete. Okay, let's go inside. Alright, I like how colorful the carpet is here. 
It's kind of a very retro 80s and 90s carpet. So there's a different selection of games in here, which is neat. A lot of variety. We've got the butterfly catcher. I'm not sure how this works, but let's find out. Two dollars for four credits. Alright. I'm just gonna click and see what happens. Uh, it's pretty similar to the hockey one. I'm gonna try and push one of the balls into the hole. Or more than one. I feel like this one's harder than the hockey puck one though. Because they're kind of on a slant and the ball gives you less surface area to push. One last try. Ta-da! 20 tickets. Not too shabby. Let's get those tickets. These are green. I believe you can use the same tickets in all the places though. I like the uh, the UFO effects with the fog machine up here. That's kind of cool. Anyway, mermaids from space, coin pushers. This is uh, another one of those coin pushers. Since we already did one at Larry's, let's do some other stuff instead. Same with the ski ball. How about clock tower? All right, turn wheel left and right to steer. I guess I gotta try getting it into one of the uh, slots down here with a high value. Uh, I messed it up. Only 25. Let's try it one more time. Alright. Ah, so close. I thought I had the 500 for a second. That's enough of that. How about whack a bot? Here we go. Whack a mole is always very fun. I like playing it in real life. Even if I'm not great at it. It's a little tricky to know exactly where you're aiming with this one because the perspective. But it's still fun. Come on. Not bad. 135 tickets. I remember this one from my childhood. I remember playing this one at Chuck E. Cheese many times. I don't think I ever won it though. Well, I won this one today. So that's cool. 188 tickets. So now it's time for down a bot. Guess I gotta throw balls at these things. Good old carnival style game. Gotta get used to the uh, angle here. It's harder than it looks. It does feel like the uh, games here are pretty generous with their tickets. 100 tickets. Alright. Now, what is this? Iceberg Bounce. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but let's find out. change the color of all of them, I guess, by hitting them all. I wonder if this is a replica of a real-life video game. It seems like most of them are, but I've never seen something like this. To be fair, I haven't been in an arcade in a very long time. 107 tickets. Always a good time when you get more than 100 tickets. You just toss it. I assume the instructions are just toss it. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Seriously, just toss it, it says. Uh, I didn't toss it hard enough. I got to hold down and let go. Come on. Well, that's five. That's twenty. And another twenty. Almost. Sixty-five total. Not bad, but not as good as the other ones. Okay. Let's see. Do I want a cow? I can try. Let's try getting a cow. Oh, I like that. The UFO effect. That's fun. Moo. Oh, yeah. I got a cow. Nice. I got time to get another one. If only my aim were better. Moo. Moo, moo, moo. Okay. Here we go. I got the cow. Look at that cow. It's going to go in my inventory. Now, what is this? This one looks fancy. Wormhole. Let's see how it works. Ah. Uh, it's another one where you got to get them in the holes. I already got 130 tickets without even trying, without knowing what I was doing. Tickets. And another ten. And another seventy. This one is pretty lucrative. If you're lucky, at least. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll do. I think I'll end this video by uh, choosing a prize. I won't do it till the end. So I can save up all my tickets. Speaking of which... Got another 890 tickets. For a total of 1842 so far. Not too shabby. Now let's take a look over here. They got a go-kart track. I'm not gonna race right now, but... It's cool to see that it's here. A uh, alien invasion themed go-kart track. Oh, what is upstairs? Ah, laser tag. Nice. We should try this. Oh, you can win tickets. Well, of course I want to do it. I assume it just works like an FPS game. Uh, this brings back memories. I had many a laser tag birthday party as a kid. Ah, uh, the uh, aiming is more difficult than you might think, because it doesn't aim straight ahead. And since I got hit, I have to wait a moment. Simplistic. Got 250 points so far. Am I out of ammo? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works. I, I seem like I can't click my, uh, or shoot my gun anymore. I don't know why. Is there a time limit left? not doing very well. Oh, I see. There's a recharge station on each side. There we go.
go. I think I got 20 shots left. Is there a time limit or is it the first who has heard in the score? I don't know. Aw, oh, man. I should probably be more strategic about this. Like my teammates. The fact that there's no crosshair and it's not in the center means there's a lot of uh, getting used to. Yeah, sounds like there's a time limit. Oh yeah, 475 tickets. Nice. Give me the tickets. Let's go redeem those and then do some more exploring. I'd love to see this machine work. Alright, so that's a total of 2317. So, what else can we find in this world? Let's take a look. This seems like it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think this is a uh, robot recharge station. Kind of clever. And we got this 18 wheeler out here. I wonder if I can do anything with that. Is it just loading more games in? It looks like it. Or maybe just massive bundles of tickets. Anyway, let's take a look here and how about we try the pier? I think this is where the carnival is. Always a good time taking a limo to the pier. Ah, Island Time Amusements. It's the carnival. These robots are very excited. So excited that they've disappeared in a cloud of smoke. I hate it when that happens to me. Ah, ride passes. Let's do eight ride passes. I don't know how many rides there are, but I can always come back here. Alright. This is coin dosers. Uh, more coin pushers. I suppose that does make sense, because the name of the game is The Coin Game. Alright, so we've got the uh, carousel here, there are the swings, swing carousel. Got the pirate ship, got the uh, drop ride. Let's go on the drop ride. Very thrilling, I like the green fog. Unlike the robots, I am a human, as you can see. Whee! It shot me way up. And now I'm gonna fall down. Fun ride. And I guess that's it. do we want to try? Let's try the pirate ship. I like how the ride was just kind of starting and then it stopped to let me on. Very convenient. Though I do suppose it is my birthday, so I deserve it. Whee. Of that. I just exited the ride while I was in motion. Almost. Alright. 
wonder if there's a roller coaster here. It doesn't look like it. That would be fun. We got Show Time Racing. One of these uh, racing games. These are always kind of fun. Let's give it a try. I'm number five. Here we go. Ah, uh, it's harder than it looks. I gotta hit that little hole in the door, I think. Tiny little target. As you can see, I'm not doing very well. But with a little practice, I'm sure I could do it. Last place it is. Well, I got one game credit for what it's worth. Huh, I can still get a prize even in last place. How about the hammer? That's me, the winner. There's my big ol' inflatable hammer. What's this? Ice cold lemonade. Sure, I'll buy some lemonade. Lemonade, please. Oh, I gotta look there. Give me the lemonade. There we go. Tasty, tasty lemonade. And that's the lemonade. What else we got here? Basketball shot. Why not? I'm gonna hit all three of them. No, I'm not. But I certainly tried. I'm even worse at this than I am at basketball in real life. Zero out of three. Welp. Oh well. What about this? The pro roller. Thank you. sure how that works, but I did not do it hard enough. Let's try it one more time. Hmm. I mean, I held it down as hard as I could, but maybe I'm missing something here. I like the angle I click it on. I'm not sure how this works. Oh well, we got lots of other stuff to try. Like the tilt a whirl. Let's get on the tilt a whirl. Gotta love these spinning rides. Alright, because you're gonna be relaxing to this video, I don't wanna make you sick, so let's get off of that one. over here. Um, I think the game may have glitched a bit. That is something that happens with early access games, but as you can see, my view is still tilted like I'm on the tilt world. Well, let's just say I'm dizzy for now. Let's try the Ferris wheel, see what kind of view we get. Come on, faster, faster. I thought this was a thrill ride. Should be spinning me like crazy, right? No. Probably a bad idea. I'm not sure the view is going to be worth it, but let's find out. Am 
might be a little nicer in the daytime. I do think there is a day-night cycle in this. Because when we started, it was uh, just before nighttime. Yeah, can't really see much up here. Anyway. What else? What is this? Live music, cold beer. I believe I'm under 21 in this game's world. But let's see what happens. Nope, can't even click on it. No beer tent for me. What is this out here? Some sort of... Oh, I think it's a bus stop. Alright. I think I've seen enough of the carnival for now. So... Let's take a look at the map. Seems like the only, only uh, arcade I've not been to is Billy. Let's see what Billy's is all about. Ah, pirate themed one eyed Billy's. Is it just me or did the limo? Pull the back of the future right there. Pretty sure it did. Well, who needs a DeLorean when you have a limo? Pirate pizza, putt putt golf. This place looks promising. A pirate themed anything is always an interesting experience. Can I go on the pirate ship? Uh, maybe. Nope, I fell into the water. Well, now this is a predicament, isn't it? Okay. Thankfully, I can swim out. Anyway, let's go on in. Alright, we've got a pirate arcade, a boat pond, a pizza, a pizzeria, I assume, but pot golf and a shooting gallery. This place seems very nice. Elaborate. I like the uh, waterfall feature here. Nice theming. Ooh, pizza. Oven and fired pizzas. No, I want pizza. I want pizza in real life. They got wood fired pizza for $7. A pirate punch for $3. And a bunch of other stuff for no dollars because I guess they haven't added it yet to the game. So let's get. Some pizza. Grease bucket. No, 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 no. I ordered a pizza. That is, that's not a bucket. That's a pizza. But it does have grease. Mm. Delicious. That's how I eat pizza in real life. Don't you? Combo craze. What is this? Uh, I see. I think I've seen this before. This is a fun one that I'm sure to be terrible at. I have to click it when it hits the red dot and it speeds up. Yep. Terrible at it. But let's try it one more time. I wonder how fast it gets at the end. Probably very fast. Forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-four. Oh, not quite. All right. Maybe I'll try more of that later. But for this video, I want to do some more exploring. Ah, huh, this one's got a duck. What is this? Wheeler up. Let's try. It. Push to uh, let the ball go. And uh, 
I see. You're gonna get it up without putting it in the holes. Like that. And not like that. Try it one more time. And of course, it gets progressively harder with fewer notches as you go up. some practice. Oh well. Did I get tickets from that? I guess not. I thought I got 10, but okay. So, I believe this is how I get more money in birthday mode. The money machine where I stand in a, a booth with a fan and a bunch of money. Always a good time in real life. Unfortunately, I don't get to do it often. <laughs> I'm not sure most people do. Unless they're very rich and have built one of these for themselves. That's a lot of money. Alright, got some more money there. Fifty-three dollars. And while I'm at it, might as well deposit some tickets. Now I have a total of twenty-three forty-four. How about we try pirate plunder? How does this work? It's got the popcorn guy on it. I see. I'm gonna drop it. It's like pachinko. Not bad, 120. Alright. Can I get the bonus, maybe? I feel like there's definitely a certain element of luck in ones like this. This one really does give you a lot of tickets. Nice. Let's do it one more time. On your own 20. The real challenge is getting it to the bottom. Another 120. Another 60. Wow, this really does give you a lot of tickets. How much does it cost? $2 for play. I think the, uh, price to ticket ratio on this one is a little weird. A very easy way to get lots of tickets it seems. So here is pile. Seems kind of like the stacker. Let's see. Ah, it's like reverse stacker. I'm moving this. Oh. Well I didn't realize it was going to drop that fast. Okay. Come on. Seems like there's a bit of physics to this. It does wobble a bit. Oh boy. Uh oh. Well, that one is fun. Let's try one more time. Here we go. I didn't have time to do that. Okay. Come on. Yeah, the first 50 isn't too bad, but after that it gets a little harder. Seems like it's smaller and maybe faster. You gotta deal with the uh, momentum as well, like Jenga. But hey, it is fun. Let's get those tickets. Alright, so we got Octo Swirl. How does this work? Ah, you put a little 
small puck or a pog or whatever on the platform and try and line it up on a circle. This one seems like it would take a lot of practice. Let's try it one more time. Almost had the 2500. Not quite. Oh well. Yeah, how about we try a ticket toboggan? I remember liking a similar one as a kid at Chalky e. Cheese. I gotta try and get a coin down there. Yeah. Let's try it one more time. Success rate ain't that bad. Hello, buddy. Do you have a GoPro? Are you vlogging this? This robot is vlogging. I don't know why he's pointing it at me. Is it because he's found AS Matt R in real life? Maybe. A little rude to just point a camera at me, though. So it seems the arcade area here is a bit, uh, small compared to the others, but it does have other things. Let's try Lava Mayhem. This is kind of like a coin pusher, but with balls. A little different. I probably shouldn't be clicking so fast. I'm not sure what the strategy is on these kind, though. Nothing. Oh, well. Yeah, these guys are just following me around. I wonder why. Now, let's try Pick Your Treasure. Uh, this is one where you have to change the color you think it's going to land on. Basically roulette, and if you're right, you get that many tickets. These ticket values seem pretty high. Nope, it was red. Oh well. Alright, let's explore the rest of this place. Let's look at the shooting gallery, I guess. Skeet shoot. Let's give it a try. Yeah, the aiming on this makes more sense than the laser tag, that's for sure. Twelve seconds left. tickets. And now here's the shooting gallery. Let's see what happens when I shoot stuff. Yeehaw! These things are always kind of fun. Seeing all the different stuff that happens. Got some spinning chickens. Oh well. 
more tickets. 550, wow. The machines here are very lucrative. And there are, there are some more arcade games like hockey and basketball. And it seems they are constructing more arcade section. Like I mentioned, the game is early access, so they're adding more stuff to it over time. Let's try the Pot Pot Golf. I wonder if I have enough for one of those fish. Probably not. It's time for a golf. Let's do the front nine hole. the controls here and the way it figures out the sensitivity. So I guess you hold down and let go to determine the power. Well, three on a par two hole isn't too bad. But I can do better. Let's try not quite, but pretty close. All right, we got the bar. Oh, I went right out. For a second I thought that was the hole. I was wondering why, but nope. It's a hole that goes into here. So close. It's so literally right there. Oh well. And now, I just gotta make sure I don't hit it too hard and knock it out like last time. I gotta say, the coin game is very simple, but it does have a lot of little Simple, fun, like going to an arcade but not having to worry about the money. Uh, a little too fast. There we go. What do we have here? Uh, too far to the right. That's no good, but let's try this. Yeah, wrong angle. This is not going to be a good one. But hey, I'm here to have fun and that's what's happening. It's a little difficult to see the hill there, but there is a slant. very bad. Let's see if I can get up the ramp. Uh -huh. Not too shabby. Can I get it now? Yes. Ah uh, yes, the classic windmill mini golf. Uh, I hit that way too hard. Could have been a hole in one if I did it right the first time. Alright, last hole. Is only one of these valid? Or do they all go down there? I assume they all go down there. Yeah. Nice. Alright, 26. So that was mini golf. Was there anything else in here I wanted to try? Let's double check. They got a bit of an aquarium back here. It's kind of neat. Hello, fishies. I think that may be it for one eyed billies. Yeah. 
we, got, we did the Pirate Arcade, we saw the Boat Pond, I think. We did pizza, pop pop golf, and shooting gallery. Let me double check the Boat Pond. Because we didn't go on a boat. Are we able to go on a boat? Probably not. It looks like it might be under construction, if that's the pond. Yeah. But what is back here? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the design of this area. Okay, so let's get a prize and get out of here. Holding on to some tickets, so I should redeem them first. That's a lot of tickets. I got a total of 3,849. So, what should we get? We can get a shell plush toy. An inflatable butter, a starfish plush, an avocado plush, and we don't have enough for an octo plush, or the lava lamp, or the cupcake plush, or the snow cone pink, or the plasma ball, or the life ring, or the pink pink. Yeah, I can't afford the fish. There is a crystal skull for 30,000, and a snow globe for 65,000, but the most expensive is the 100,000 ticket ship in a bottle. So what do we want? I think of all those, I prefer the inflatable butter, because I can whack people over the head with it. There it is. Bonk. Bonk. A lot of work from one putter, but we do have a lot of tickets left over. Anyway, that was uh, one on Billy's. And as you can see, it is daytime now. And let's double check the map here. So we can go home, we can go to Jerry's, which looks like a gas station. Uh, papers, I think we can make money by delivering papers. There's a factory, a warehouse, a golf cart we can drive, we can go to the beach. And there's a berries pawn shop where we can sell items we've gotten for money. But I think I'm going to end this video by going home and settling down. I do take a limo home every day, not just on my birthday, of course. And here we are, my home. Here's my garage. And a mini fridge with nothing in it. But let's go inside. And inside we have my grandmother who is a robot for some reason. Not sure why she's a robot and I'm a human. And we have our pet goose. I'm sit, sitting down on the couch next to the goose who doesn't want to be with me. Come here, Goose. The goose does not want to be touched, but I can pick him up and put him on the counter. Good Goose. Good Goose. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Wait. I thought I saw it. Yes. There is a Rasta banana in there. Anyway. Up we go, and it's time to go to bed. This, I guess, counts as going to bed. And why do I have a claw machine in my room? Well, I really like arcades. But with that, I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at the coin game. And I hope you found it relaxing. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.